Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will start architecture part 3. Is se pehle aapne part 1 and part 2 agar explore nahi kiya hai, to you can check in the description for better understanding. In iOS Swift development, there are several architecture patterns that developer can choose from to structure their apps. Here we will discussing three common architecture pattern briefly explained with examples so let's start model view controller yani mvc model model represent the apps data and business logics view view represent the user interface elements and how they are presented controller controller act as an intermediate between the model and view handle user interactions and updating the model and view accordingly for example imagine you are building a to-do list app the model would contain the task and their status the view would display the task and the controller would manage user interactions like adding and mark task as done etc I will explain the example one by one. First is model. In your Swift code, you would create a task class or struct that define the property of the task like its title, description and completion status. You might have a task manager class that handle adding, deleting and updating the task in an array. Next is view. In the storyboard or programmatically, you would design the user interface for displaying tasks. This could include a table view or other things etc. Next is controller. Controller. You would create a view controller that manages the interaction between the model and view. The controller would be responsible for fetching tasks from the task manager. That will be updating the UI to display the task in the table view, handling user interaction like adding or deleting tasks, updating the model when the user makes changes. According to example, the model yani task and man, uh, task manager represent the data and provide method to manipulate it. The view is the storyboard with the table view where tasks are dis displayed. The controller handle interaction between the model and view. It's fetch task from the model and update the view when task changes. Model view view model MVVM. Model model similar to MVC, it represents the app data logics. View view represent the user interface, but is more passive that does not handle user interaction directly. View model act as the mediator between the model and view, preparing the data for the view and handling user interaction. For example, in a weather app, the model would hold weather data and view would display it. 
and the view model would format the data for display and handle user action like refreshing the weather. I will explain with the example of task model. Model similar to MVC example, you will have a task struct to define the properties of the task and task manager class to manage the task. View in your storyboard or code, design the user interface for displaying tasks. This could be a table view. View model. Create a task list view model class that interact with the model task manager and prepare the data for the view. It should expose the properties and method that the view can bind to. View controller. Create a view controller that manages the user interface. It should have an instance of the task list view model. According to live example, the model remains the same as in the MVC example responsible for storing and managing tasks. The view is still the user interface design in the storyboard. The view model acts as the intermediate. It exposes properties like task count and method like add task for the view to interact with the view controller. Task list view controller connect the view with the view model. It handle user interaction like typing in the add task button and update the view by calling method on the view model. Viper Viper means view interactor presenter entity router. View view handle the user interface and the user input interactor contain the business logic and communicate with the model. Presenter mediate between the view and interactor formatting data to display. Entity Entity represent the data structure. Router manage the navigation between the modules. For example, in a chat application, the view would show messages and interactor would manage messages, retrieval and sending. The presenter would format messages and entity would define messages structure and the router would handle transitions between chat screens. I will explain with the live example entity. Entity define a task structure to represent task data. Interactor Create a task interactor class responsible for managing tasks including fetching, adding and removing tasks. 
presenter develop a task presenter class to format task data for the view and handle user interactions view view create a task view controller to display task and handle user interactions With Viper, you have a clear separation of responsibility. View handle, user interface, and interaction. Interactor manage the business logic. Presenter mediate between the view and interactor. Entity define the data structure. Router manage the navigation. I hope this helped you. If you have any doubts, in the comment section and check out the description and download the live example. For better understanding, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.